All right, I uh, wanted to start doing some more Blender tutorials because I have really been getting into Blender recently. It's uh, quite a powerful program and it's completely free to download and use and whatnot. I'm gonna show you how to, uh, the very basics of rigging a character in Blender. It's it's really a, quite a simple once you uh, can figure out the basics. So I'm gonna hit uh, three on my number pad to go to the side view and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I have imported this uh, game model here which was created earlier uh, I got from Lightwave. Uh, I'm gonna hit spacebar and go to add armature. Armature is what you use to um, to go ahead and uh, uh, manipulate its bones and, and, and controls and stuff like that to mani manipulate your characters. Uh, you'll see here that uh, you have many options on how to move something. You can just drag and then this uh, item will will come with you and um, also you have this little uh, icon here this little hand tool use the 3d manipulator you can go ahead and and uh, if you hold shift down you could enable for example the rotation and the scaling and I'm gonna just do rotation and translation okay so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll move this into place here and then if you see here down into the uh, the button panel uh, I'm going to turn on X-ray so that we can see the bones through the mesh. And uh, now we're ready to start editing this. We go. We can either go into editing mode by clicking on this drop down, or we can just simply hit tab. And now when we do that, we're able to drag the uh, from the bone there. Okay. All right, and uh, we're able to create. I'm going to put this actually in the front here. This is going to be my bone that's going to basically move the whole object at once. And I'm going to duplicate this with uh, Shift D. I'm going to create a bone over here. This is going to be the bone that uh, all my is going to control the hips and pelvis and my IK stuff. I'll select this main bone again and go Shift D again. And uh, I'm right clicking to select the tips of these bones and moving them around. Okay. All right, so there's that. I'm pointing the pelvis downwards because this is going to be the pelvis bone. And uh, I'm pointing the pelvis downwards so that um, when I rotate it, I'll be able to kind of swish the hips around and stuff. So now when I'm duplicating these bones, they're not connected to each other yet. They're not parented to each other. Uh, you can see here in the outline view on the side that I brought up that, um, uh, well, you, you won't be able to see it yet, but... Uh, Let's see if we drag that armature. Yeah, see, these bones are not parented to each other. One thing in this outline view, you can find it by selecting uh, this drop down list and going to outliner. And this gives you an overview of your scene. You can do things like select or hide items. And um, you could, for example, you could uh, hide this character. Or we could, for example, uh, if we click this, we won't be able to select him by accident, which is good because we don't want to move him around right now. The only thing you can't do here, I don't think, is, is parent parent things. I'll show you how to do that in a second, though. All right, so I have this. Now let's create the legs. Shift-D and just drag your cursor and you'll be able to move it. One on the number pad to go to the front view. All right, we'll move this leg into place. Right-click. This is a weird thing. Right-click to select, not left-click like most programs. Three on the number pad. Oops, screwed through this bone here. And now, so <clears throat> you'll see to edit things, you can select the three parts of the bone, the base, the actual bone itself, and the tip. And each one can move independently. If you select the bone itself, then you can move the entire thing. All right, that's good to know. I'll move this pelvis up a little bit so we don't select it by accident. Okay, so now uh, I'll select the tip and then I'll just hit E on the keyboard to extrude this bone and then E again to make a foot, and then E again to make some toes, and then one, I'll bring uh, one out here. All right, so then I'll hit, uh, I wanna select all these and rotate them. So I'm going to hit B for box select and drag a box out. Now I have these guys selected <clears throat> and I'm going to want to rotate them. I'm gonna to wanna to rotate them instead of rotating them from the center of all the bones, I'm gonna select this little drop down and say 3D cursor. 
So now when we've left click, you'll see we, we place the 3D cursor. I have to place it kind of in the center there. All right. So now if I hit R to rotate or if I use the rotate uh, tool, I'll hit R here. All right. Now I'm instead of uh, rotating from the center of, of the uh, bone, I'm rotating from uh, the place where we put the cursor. So I'll go back to median point. And now we have one leg. All right. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, select that whole thing and uh, shift duplicate. Okay. And uh, let me go back to 3D cursor. Left click to place the 3D cursor. Oops. And then R. I'll rotate it. Okay. And then I'll go back to medium point so that I can. Now I'm just gonna. Now that I've duplicated this leg, I just want to go ahead and move it over all the uh, joints here so that everything lines up correctly. So as you can see, how quickly we've already gotten this. All right. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and now create the uh, spine and torso and all that. I'll go back to my main bone here. Let me move this here. And I'll hit Shift D to duplicate. Right click, move it over. I'm gonna create like a spine here. Okay. And then E, I'll create another spine. And then E, drag out a torso bone. E for a neck bone. E again. Okay, now let's go back to the front. Now I'll show you another neat little feature here. Uh, I'm gonna select this, uh, this point right here, this uh, joint right at the neck. And I'm gonna go to X axis mirror. You can see right down here. Click on that to enable. And now hit Shift E. And as you can see, we've got bones coming in two directions, all right? So I'm gonna create a, like a clavicle, Shift E. Create some shoulders, Shift E. Shift E. And then Shift E, Shift E, all right? So now I'll go to seven, top view on my keyboard. And so a nice thing about that is that when we select one, if we have the x-axis mirroring, as you can see, when we edit one side, the changes get mirrored to the other side. So we only have to edit one side of the armature. Okay, so now we have everything in place there. I guess we can put a little thumb on this guy. I'm gonna turn the x-axis mirroring off. Shift D, I'll duplicate the uh, hand bone. Now, as you can see, because I duplicated something that's already been part of a hierarchy, uh, when we create something with the extrude function, we create something that has a hierarchy to it. You can see here that we do have some bones that are part of a hierarchy. You'll, you'll know if something is parented to another because you'll see this dotted black dash, dash line here, all right? So I'm gonna drag that over and position this, put him into place here so he's kind of roughly where your thumb would be. All right, and I'm gonna have that thumb have two joints, and it's really easy to do this. Just select the bone and hit W and subdivide. And if you just subdivide it, it'll break it in two. If you subdivide multi, you can uh, increase the number to anything you want. Uh, okay, now let's do the same thing over here. Let's create a, uh, a bone, Shift D. And put that in place. It's really uh, really nice and easy to do this here. Once you uh, know the keyboard shortcuts, <clears throat> you can get through this interface. It is so fast to work in Blender once you know the keyboard shortcuts. Also, um, three, for example, to go to the side. Control three will go to the other side view. Same thing with everything else. One for the front view. Control one for the back view. Seven for the top. Control 7 for the bottom.